What's up y'all, my name is Barbara Atto, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I decided I'm gonna film my fall winter makeup routine, you know? She's cute, she's together, she's blended, she's seamless and all things of that nature, okay? Also, video on how this wig is flat on my head, she's natural, she's seamless, you see? She's blending in whatever. That video is live right now, it'll be up in the cards down, uh, up above and in the description box down below. I don't know why the temperature keeps changing, it's irking my soul, but we will get this lighting thing together eventually, okay? So really hope you guys enjoy this video. Please just like, comment, share, and subscribe, and let's get started, okay? Alrighty, so we are gonna start off with my brows, and for that, I'm gonna be taking my usual Fenty Beauty um, Brow MVP Ultra Fine Brow Pencil and Styler in the shade Deep Black. So I have oil, oily skin all year round, doesn't matter what time of the year it is, my skin is oily, okay? But I also like to keep it heavily moisturized just so I don't produce more oil. You know what I'm feeling? You know what I'm saying? So for primer, I'm gonna be using two. I'm gonna be using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Mattifying Primer and the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. So I'm going to put um, my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop on first. And I like to put this in the areas that I know I'm going to get oily. And then I like to put the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer where my pores are biggest. So basically in the cheek area. Just so that I have like a smooth base before I apply my foundation. Next, I'm gonna conceal my brows, and for that, I'm gonna be taking my NARS Creamy Radiant um, Concealer in the shade Amand, and applying it with my e.l.f. eyeliner brush. Now we're gonna jump to the base, and for that, I'm gonna be taking my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Iguaku Dark 3. I'm going to use my own four pumps. One, two, three, four. And to apply, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. foundation brush, but to blend it out, I'm going to be using my beauty blender. Okay. Blending it out, I'm using my beauty blender. I'm going to be using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Amand. And what I like to do is I like to go down beside my nose and then under my eye, above my chin, I mean on my chin, above my lip, on my forehead and down the bridge of my nose. And then I like to use my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. For more moisture and it helps it last longer and it's easier to blend. And then what I like to do is take the foundation side and go around the perimeter of where I highlighted so it blends into the foundation. 
Next, we are going to contour, and for that, I'm gonna be taking, we're gonna use two products today, actually. We're gonna use both a cream contour and a powder contour. So to start off, I'm gonna be taking my Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in the shade Espresso. Espresso, Espresso, I don't know. But um, I'm gonna be taking that with my angled blush brush from Sephora, and I'm just going to sweep the product on the brush like so. And then I'm going to contour my face. So I go right above the hollow of my cheek and I go up. And then on my jawline, I go down so it blends down into my neck. Now before I jump to the powder contour, I'm going to set my face with all this hair. I'm going to set my face and for that I'm going to be taking my Laura Mercier concoction. And I'm going to take um, my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. It is damp. So just pressing it in, making sure I get an even blend and I'm dabbing off the excess. And then I'm just going to punch it everywhere I highlighted. And then um, I do have, I don't think I have smile lines, but I do have like little digits on the side of my mouth that likes to crease a bit. So I'm just going to set that area as well. So I like to kind of like poke my tongue out in that area. Next, I'm gonna contour my nose and I like to use an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush because it's narrow and it gets where I need to go without being too messy. So I'm just going to sweep it on the um, Fenty uh, matchstick. So what I like to do is start off from under my eyebrow, kind of like drag it off in there and then bring it down the bridge of my nose. And kind of like drag it down into the eyeshadow. And then I go back with my Miracle Com Complexion sponge and I just make where I sit more prominent. And then also setting the sides of my nose. And then cleaning off where it may have got on, where the powder may have got on to where I contoured. Okay, I'm gonna take my It's My Ray by BH Cosmetics number three brush. I'm gonna go into my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette, going into the contour shade, obviously, and I'm going to set my contour. So for this, right, I like to use, um, I don't like to go all over my face. I just like to go right where the hollow of my cheek is just to deepen it a bit more. And then bringing it into my hairline. And then I like to go into my, using my Miracle Complexion Sponge again. I'm going back to my Laura Mercier concoction. And we are going to carve out my contour. To sweep away the excess powder under my eye, I'm gonna take my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the shade Deep 60 along with my It's My Ray by Beach Cosmetics number no. four brush. I'm just going to lightly tap my brush and sweep away. Next, to sweep off the excess powder all over my face, I'm gonna take my NYX No Filter Finishing Powder in the shade Coco. I'm gonna take my Dollar Store Kabuki brush, the best brush there is. And when I'm not using this brush, I like to use my flat top brush. I'm gonna use this one actually, yeah. I'm gonna use this um, flat top brush from my Amazon brush set. I'm just going to dip the brush in there, tap off the excess, and then I like to bang. <laughs> she is set, okay? 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 Ooh, ooh. Why is my face itchy? 
Now it's time for blush, and I think I'm going to be using my e.l.f. blush palette. Yes, my e.l.f. blush palette with my, um, it's my Rare by Beige Cosmetics number two brush. I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna go in between, um, let me see if y'all can see that. It's the peachy one and the browner one. So diagonal across there. I'm just gonna use those two. And then, so for highlighter, I'm gonna use the shade Morning After, which is this shade right here in the bottom middle. Let's see if it'll focus. Yeah, right here, this one right here. <laughs> and I'm applying it with my It's Maria by BH Cosmetics number five brush. And to set my face, I'm gonna be using my Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray. Drenched. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender just to press everything in. And then tie my lips, y'all already know. No different, ain't gonna, try, ain't gonna change anytime soon. It's the Sephora Rouge Gel Lip Liner in the shade Molasses. We're gonna put Carmex on because in the fall and winter, your lips do get crusty. So, we're gonna prevent that with a Medicaid lip balm. Mm. She's moisturized. And to fill out my lips, I'm going to be taking my lip, NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Honeymoon. And then for gloss, I'm going to use my favorite Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Fenty Glue. All right, and this is the final look. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.